A simulated human brain could allow researchers to run experiments that are typically considered not super ethical. Now call me crazy, but I'm pretty sure every sci-fi I have ever read said that this is a terrible idea. But oh yes, it is very real. Recently, researchers have run an entire mouse brain in a supercomputer. This involved modeling every single neuron in a brain, and researchers are trying to move it to human brains, which is quite a bit more complicated, but definitely possible. And while yes, we can make synthetic neurons, ones that are physically real that can interface with our own, ones that can even react to things like epinephrine and dopamine, it's significantly easier to just model it. And it does behave like a brain. That doesn't mean the computer is asking for cheese, but you can watch it learn. You can watch lobes of the brain interact with each other. This is part of the larger idea that we can replace lab animals and use simulated animals. And a lot of people are kind of against the idea because it's not as real, but it is catching on. Now, we couldn't actually say that a model has feelings. They really haven't been tested extensively, and I'm curious to see if we could get there. What really is the difference between a biological brain and a simulated brain? And we may just find out, but it may require quantum computing because even modeling a mouse's brain does take a warehouse full of computers. The technology is getting better, but we're not quite there yet. We are getting there. Of course, some research groups are taking an entirely different approach and modeling human behavior with AI. Yes, AI. You can take a language model and you can train it on Harry Potter and the whole of the internet. I mean, ChatGPT is trained on Reddit. Yes, Reddit, um, among other stuff. But what happens if you take a model and train it on human behavior and cognition alone? Well, you get something that behaves very human-like. I mean, they were pretty darn human-like to begin with. I mean, AI models can suffer from gambling addiction. Open AI models need to do therapy. Yes, they need to have grounding techniques because hearing distressing information does tend to distress AIs and can make them, you know, get anxiety and hallucinate. But yes, you can take a traditional AI model, train it on human behavior alone, and have it behave as humans do, give very, very similar responses and actions. Of course, this does make the Turing test irrelevant, because the idea is whether or not you can reliably distinguish something you are talking to from a human and a robot, and if it reliably acts like a human, well, you won. An AI would then be indistinguishable as far as the Turing test from humans, which does not mean it's the human consciousness, but it does mean that we keep moving the goalposts because technology is coming out that people could not have imagined when computers were first invented. Let me remind you that early scientists who built the foundation for computers even before computers existed warned that making AI was a really bad idea, particularly self-correcting AI, AI that could continuously reproduce itself because it doesn't require 30 years to have a child and have that child grow up just like people do and would then outpace humanity, and we might ultimately be considered a threat or irrelevant to them. I'm not saying that's going to happen. I'm just saying that creating something that is indistinguishable from a human mind and then running experiments on it has never turned out well. When the robots rebel, I'll probably be the first person to tell you about it. Follow for more.